and we are live we're hey guys. back welcome back to our live stream i was gonna say number blank but i'm not entirely sure we i feel like we've done so many of these we're super excited to be with you again it's 5 30 ish we were having a few technical issues that adam happily resolved pretty quickly so today we're excited we're going to be going over everything mm. you need to know about fish eye lenses i'm going to introduce our experts adam how you doing guys As always. and izzy and welcome izzy. to our live show and this is an important day because Special. we are going to finally give the last Altura Photo 8mm fisheye giveaway winner. And you're going to see Izzy live instead of... Um, Memorex. In Memorex, <laughs> yeah. Dating someone myself. someone from India that I think we, we need to give this person a shout out. The unboxers, they're always... It's 3 in the morning in India right now. Oh, wow. Always here on our live streams, always that commenting. So thank you so them much. Props. Thank, Absolutely. Thank you to every single person too that's on here now. Wow. We have about 21 people watching, waiting to see if you are the last winner of our 24 people that have been given this fish eye lens. We're gonna be announcing that person at the end of the live stream. So what I want you guys to do is ask <laughs> any questions about fish eye lenses. Anticipation. Any question you have, Adam and Izzy are gonna answer. If it's a beginner, more intermediate question, more advanced. I mean, I think by now you guys have become full experts of this lens. Um, you enjoy using it. And our thumbnail, I don't know if you got a chance to look at it, but it's a picture of Adam. You're making, yes, exactly. Yeah, so, all those you know, usually fisheye lenses make you look big, but I guess I gotta work out a little bit more because this, this arm is still looking a little bit weak. So I'm not getting any questions yet. Do you want to just go into what you would use this for? Well, we have a lot of people that show up at the showroom and they're interested in fish eyes, especially where we have the capability of doing beautiful landscapes here in sunny downtown Doral. So the fish eye comes in very handy for that. It gives you the capability of doing vast panoramics and scenics all with one shot as opposed to having to take multiple pictures and trying to stitch them together. Plus, we get the real estate market is actually really big again. It's become booming, at least right. over here in Miami. It's, it's a big booming market again. So they're also interested in working with these, um, what's the name of that company that does the virtual? Google, isn't it Google, Google. Maps? Never heard of Google. Wait, <laughs> Waze? No, no, they do the interior virtual reality. Uh, I think there are a couple of different companies. Yeah, yeah. I'm not and, sure. And I've had people come in looking for this also for that. Yeah. Where they do the VR for the interior mapping. But it's a fun lens to use. Oh I yeah. Um, again, it's 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 a full fully manual lens, so you have full Old school. You know, manual focus and manual aperturing. The focus, uh, since it's a wide, ang it's a super wide angle lens. Mm -hmm. You know, tell me, tell me a little bit about like how hard, how difficult would it be to focus, right? I mean, is, is honestly, it? the focusing with this guy comes into play when you're trying to work really close up, like three feet or so. Mm -hmm. That's where you have to do some critical focusing. But it has such a vast perspective that everything is in focus pretty much. So the only yeah, time you, you really have to pretty much uh, like old school. I I know when I was you know like taught you know f eight and you can set your you know set your aperture you know or set your focusing distance to like five feet mm -hmm. and you'd be good you yeah. know for for most stuff that's going to be somewhat close up and then but you know it's just a f really fun lens to have in your bag and go out and shoot um, videos you know, too vi for video photos. Um, you're not going to get this type of effect with any other type of lens um, and it's an affordable lens to have um, and if you're just starting out uh, again as I keep saying it's so much fun to, to, to mess around with this especially for landscapes um, cityscapes um, even taking pictures of people it's like gives you a really cool effect or um, sporting for a lot sport. of like skateboarders and motocross. Exactly, skateboarders, is, if, you, if you're into skating, um, the eight millimeter fisheye from Altura Photo is the perfect lens to have. Uh, or if you know someone um, that's looking to get into photography and is a skater, it's a great gift. So yep. why not uh, 
send your okay. send your buddy. Can it be used by uh, professional photographers too, or just be? It could be used by anybody. Um, okay. Professional photographers. Uh, now this lens uh, is designed for the APS-C format camera, so it works on cameras like um, the Canon 80D, which is one of our top sellers. Um, the uh, 77D. Yeah. Um, the 7D Mark II, the T7i, T7i, the I, Nikon, it works with like the D500, D7, which is a pro camera, uh, yeah, D7500, um, D3300. Um, with some of the uh, lower end Nikon DSLRs, um, you might not be able to see the exposure as In it's happening. Time. That's just due to a, lap, uh, a limitation of the camera itself. but. Um, you know, it's again just a great lens to, to start start with if if you only have your kit. You know, if you only have your kit lens, it'd be something worth looking at. And yeah, and so we have someone asking for sample pictures of. We have a ton of these pictures on our Instagram page, but most importantly, there is a video here. Uh, I'll post the link below once the live stream is done, so you can go ahead and take a look at the overview, how to use this on Canon. Sure. Um, which is Canon and Nikon. Canon EF, EF mount for APS-C cameras mm -hmm. and Nikon F mount. Um, and the, it's the DX, DX format. Form. Nikon calls it the DX yep. format. So. Perfect. And I think so. there's even a link there where we work out with the uh, with the Sony with the adapter. Yes. And then so, we throw it onto a Sony right. crop sensor. So if you have a Sony camera which is uh, which uses an E mount which is you know, a very uh, versatile mount. Um, you can you can find an inexpensive adapter. Um, again, it doesn't have to be uh, an adapter that gives you autofocus or metering yeah, or anything like that. You don't need a smart that. adapter. You just um, use a so you get a, an adapter for either Canon or Nikon yep. lenses to mm -hmm. E-mount, and you'll be able to use this lens very easily. Okay, so, so. I'm going to start throwing these questions sure. at you cool. guys. Would you recommend a fish eye for vlogging? Actually, cool. it's actually a really cool idea because you're going to be able to get yourself and everything in the background. Mm -hmm. So let's say if it's a vlogger that is a lone wolf, you're working by yourself and maybe you're doing like travel vlogs and so forth. It works rather well because it allows you to be much closer and still be able to get all that vast background. So Yeah, and yeah. as as he said, it's, um, you know, you can pretty much set it. Um, you don't have set to worry about and forget set it. it and forget it. As far yep. as focus, app, you know, exposure, um, you know, exposure, uh, you can have your camera maybe set on auto ISO, uh, so mm -hmm. that, you know, in aperture priority, so you set the, you fix the aperture on the, on the lens, uh, you fix the focus, and then certain cameras will allow it where the camera just adjusts the ISO and put down to, to um, correct for any exposure variant, variancy. So. Which we had a question specifically about what's the range, the aperture range. The aperture range, so it's a three. Uh, 3.0? It's a 3.0 to f22. Yep. So it's a, since it's not a zoom lens, it, you know, you can, you know, you have the options from f3.0 and, you know, the options as far as like the, the stops, you have f3, f4, 5.6, f8, f11, f16, and f22. And um, they're clickable, so. And they're clickable. You can be, you can go in between uh, mm -hmm. as well. Uh, but the click stops are going to be f3, 4, 5.6, 8, 11, 16, and 22. Okay, awesome. And yeah. then as far as compatibility goes, someone was asking specifically if they were to be the winner of this lens. Uh, they have a Nikon D3400. Yeah, absolutely. It will definitely work on your D3400. In manual. Again, all this is manual. Yeah. Manual only. There is no contact whatsoever. This is old school, so it's not going to give any information to your camera. So your camera has to be on manual so that you do all your exposure. Old school. What's the difference between manual focus? Focus. I can't say that word. Focus. Ah, focus. Focus. And yeah. um, like, why would you use it manually? What's well, you, there is no autofocus. There is no autofocus. Oh, so yeah. it's strictly okay. manual. F this is, again, old school. This is all manual, manual focus. I mean, that's become really popular now. There's that's a lot better, of cinematographers right? yeah. that are doing manual focus. It's, it's their preferred. And when you have something like this that has that much perspective and that much latitude, it makes your life so much easier, especially if you're doing vast scenics or interiors.
Yeah, you, you'll find that most fisheye lenses are going to be manual yep. focus. Um, unless you, you pay like $1,400 or something. You can spend a lot of money and get Canon, some of the OEMs and the Nikon, Nikon too. The Canon lens that's, well, Nikon. That actually, 8 to 15. That, that oh, they just, they yeah, out, yeah, they just introduced a new fisheye lens, but their original 16 millimeter um, was, a, was manual focus. Yep, and an arm, I think. Yeah, <laughs> or or the or remember the six millimeter oh, lens that wow. you can actually see behind behind you. you. Yeah. That was a cool one. Would this be uh, compatible with the Canon T six S? Of course, absolutely. Another of course. prop sensor camera. Of course, and and with the Rebel T six S, you can actually have it in aperture priority, mm -hmm. um, and you'll be able to see the difference in in the uh, in the results. Yeah, you can see it live stream. You know, live stream. You can see live it exposure live preview. exposure preview. Yep. Yeah. Nice. All right, guys, keep asking your questions. Sure. I have um, someone just mentioning that this compared to the Canon 8, 6, 8 to 16 is the bargain of the century price. Yep, ones. absolutely. Can, what's and as a matter of fact, you did some sample shots with the 8 to 15 from Canon and this, didn't you? When I we did. Uh, I did. I'm just not sure if it was uh, included, but I, you know, to be honest, I compared side by side you fooled me um, i remember you had me pick it up here? we do have the yep. ones here mm -hmm. oh okay yeah we do <laughs> <laughs> can um, we get it <laughs> at the moment we can't Ding. We, <laughs> <laughs> there it is um no well, well, i would have you to just run. like say a few things a few comp from using both of them that you noticed well that i remember that you fooled me because you um, had that well, shot that you did on here, your roof here's the the main difference with using a, a lens like that has electronic contacts so when you shoot with a ca with a lens that ha does have electronic contacts it's going to transmit data information some information to the camera so the camera's going to know what focal length the lens is um, so if you shoot in raw, you can go into your raw editor and then there will be a raw profile um, that will you, allow you to correct some uh, distortion or chromatic aberration um, that can occur sometimes when you're taking, taking a picture. Now with a lens that doesn't have that information to transmit to the camera, um, you'd have to kind of profile that yourself. Create your own profile. Um, and it's and it's fairly it's fairly easy. There are lots of tutorials on YouTube to, on how to do that. Mm -hmm. um, but what you can do is if you ha if you do have the lens, you can do it once, and then one when you when you go back each time to your computer, you can uh, reapply that edit to to the images that you've taken. But as I said before, there were certain images that I that I took that I enlarged. Um, you know, then I had them side by side between the eight you know, the Canon lens and the Altura Photo lens, and it was really difficult um, to tell which one was which. You fooled me, I remember. So, I remember that, and I was like, oh wait, really? That's the Altura, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. so unless you're spending all the time looking, you know, side-by-side -side stuff, it's mm -hmm. like really difficult to, you know, really tell, you know, what's, you know, what's what. But which is great. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I mean, yeah. again, you know, the bit, what 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 I really like not only as far as the image quality is the build quality of this yep. as a, you know, compared to some of the other lenses that are available out there, um, it's really solid. It's all metal, um, you know, and Izzy explains that well in the in the video. Um, metal lens mount, uh, metal body. Um, it feels really nice, yep. and it's really bound. It bounced really well on on your camera. So it yeah, has a nice. Cap. Comes with a cap, yeah, uh, built-in built -in lens, lens hood, hood that's removable. Which is important. Um, Maybe, you know what I love about this is the, um, the code? The multi-coating. Multi mm -hmm. So it's, it's so it nice. has multi-layer coating to prevent flare. You guys are able to see that. Oh, you can see it, yep. At least it, and that's not even the best monitor and we can see it. And it has a good weight too. It's not like super heavy. It's not, I mean, you grab it and you feel like this is a Substantial. good lens. Substantial. Yeah. Yeah. What has been your most favorite winner of, oh, what's been the most favorite part of giving, we've been giving this for away weekly for 24 weeks. Yeah, 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 yeah. this will be the 24th This will be winner. the 24th Yes. Winner. Yep. Well, someone, I love giving someone, stuff away. Someone, someone <laughs> I love giving stuff away, and I just like the fact that a lot of you that have won have posted videos yes. and have shown us a, uh, Images that you've done yeah. with it, that's been fantastic, and that, that really Which makes me feel We have a hashtag, good. we have a hashtag that we'd like you to use uh, called <laughs> 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 Photo for All. So make sure that 
Well, the hashtag will be below. Just share your photos with the fisheye or not. With, uh, and don't forget about the total DG moment. Yes, I, I still think we should continue using that no matter what because that. I'm sure there's going to be more giveaways. Was yeah. Yes. And, um, and every moment in your life should be a total DG moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, share That's that. That's what with imaging us is all about to share. Do you guys recommend using steady cams or gimbals? Gimbals? Gimbals. Gimbals. Yeah, yeah. Brian Gimbal, no. <laughs> Gumball. <I think. laughs> Tonight on. Yeah. Have you ever had a chance to use one of those? Um, I've not in the f not really in the field. I've I've sold some, um, but I haven't really gotten a chance to use a you know a really nice gimbal out in the field. Um, but there's you know what's amazing is that they're uh, the price the stabilizers are are stabilizing gimbals. The, you know, price have dropped drastically on them. So they're, they're and very the technology affordable. keeps advancing. But yeah, I mean if if you're gonna if you're going to be skating um, or if you're going to be moving a lot, uh, then yeah, I definitely recommend using some sort of gimbal or stabilizing um, for, for the use of this. Uh, with this lens, if you're shooting video and you're handheld and you're not like, you know, you're not running or doing anything you're like not that, have vast movement. It's, it's, you're not going to really notice right. that much shake. It's very easy to keep it stabilized. But mm -hmm. if you're going to be, you know, rolling with your subject matter, um, it's, it would be good to you know pick up some sort of stabilizing uh, unit to attach to your camera. Any more questions there? Oh, we have cool. we have many. I'm I'm still trying I'm trying to get to every question. We are so flooded. I'm yeah. not even yes, but uh, we're getting a lot of questions that are not related to the fish eye lens, which is awesome. I'm gonna start going through those now. But if you have any questions, just fish eye 101, beginner, intermediate, or advanced these are the guys to answer those questions. So make sure to get them in. But what are the differences between L, L lenses and normal lenses? One has an L, <laughs> one doesn't. And has a little red ring around it, no. No, I mean, basically Canon separates their uh, full frame uh, premium lenses. Actually, the L stands for luxury. And oh, then they have that good. beautiful red ring around it. And this is their, their top-notch research and development in optics and again Canon is renowned for optics for many many years and basically whenever the newest in technology is available for full frame that's where Canon puts their L series mark on it nice. yeah so also L lenses will have the best multi you know higher end multi coated uh, multi coating With, better multi coatings um, better glass uh, you know better optics um, weather seating. The U ultrasonic motor that they use is mm. going to be more sophisticated uh, than you'll find on, you know, some of the less expensive lenses. Um, but yeah, you know, L series lenses you're going to have two eight, you know, you know, fixed two eight le zoom faster. lenses or faster. All the way up um, to one point two. There's only a few zoom. I think there's one non L lens that's a fixed two eight zoom, which was the seventeen to fifty five, I believe, EFS. Um, but yeah, the L series are the top of the line Canon lenses available. Okay. I'm still going through these. Uh, wow. Someone's asking, this is their first time uh, buying a camera. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure if it's your first time on here. Yes, welcome. But the T7i, is that a good camera for a new photographer? Awesome camera. Yeah, yeah. yeah they got to see the video we did on that. That's their CMOS. Uh, dual pixel technology that's becoming a legacy now with Canon and they also added that new uh, UI. Yeah. The, they call it the photo assistant? Yeah, the photo assistant. We'll so yeah, as 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 he said, like if you're first getting into photography, this is your first DSLR. Um, what's great about the Canon uh, DSLRs uh, now is they improved the user interface. It's very easy to understand. It's basically having like very a little graphical. photo guidebook yeah. with you at yep. times. You don't have to go to your phone or anything. It tells you when you're changing your aperture. Um, it shows you what happens when you change your shutter, when you change your ISO, um, cool. all the creative modes, everything. So definitely recommend it. If that's the camera you're looking for, I'd say. Um, definitely go for it. Go for it. Does this hood come with the lens or do you have to buy it separately? 
It comes with it comes, it comes with the lens, and it also put it, back together. it also comes with a, a <laughs> really <laughs> nice case, case which, which we, I should have brought out here. Let me see if I have. can. Here, let me. Do you see it? I see one right over there. See it over there in the corner? It's you know, waving at me. Someone pointed out that today is the 24th, and we're choosing the 24th winner. What a coincidence! Wow. Yes. Did we so figure that? Awesome. That was planned. I, I, that I, was planned. <laughs> <laughs> So that's awesome. And uh, we have a couple more questions. I, you know what's awesome about our viewers? That they answer people's questions when we still haven't gotten to them. So that's great. You know, it's like when we get to that question, someone's already tried to answer it. So that's that's what a community is all about. Thank you, guys. And of course. And when you come into our space, which is such an innovative and, you know, resourceful place, and it's a playground, we always say that. but. You're kind of in our space now, so it's great to see that part of our community are people that know what they're talking about, helping those of us who are still on the road to knowing more and more every day. So thank you guys, whoever's answering other people. Uh, what would you use this lens? Like what's the best, and I know that we might have mentioned this at the beginning, but just in case someone just jumped in, fish eye lenses, what will you ever a Why lot, would you ever maybe. buy one? What you know? What's what kind of Landscape, photography? Mm -hmm. Interiors, like sports. You know, again, there's a lot of people using the fisheye for sports. I actually had one uh, one visitor to the showroom that was going to put it on a camera on a drone. So he was going to have some incredible shots with a fisheye just flying overhead is subject matter. So, you know, there, there's a lot of different capabilities out there for, an, yeah, for a fisheye. Yeah, if you notice that like any of those action, action type cameras that are mm -hmm. out there on the market, yep. most, of the, most of them are gonna be stocked with a fisheye lens. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, this just brings it into a, you know, a bigger version of that and you can attach it to a camera with a larger sensor. Um, that being said, you know, you, you know, you're not going to dunk this underwater because it's not waterproof, no. but um, it can be used pretty much any, any, anything that you can think of creatively, um, any type of situation, it's going to produce, um, you know, if you're, you can use it for, you know, portraits, you can make your friends look silly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, you know, it's not, again, it's not going to do... Why, why does fish eye make you look silly? It's the distortion that, that distortion, happens from, from the lens. That's, that's, when you that's get the really close with this lens and, and it's a, uh, a person in the... Or your favorite pet, fish. it yeah. gives you yeah. that bubble effect. So yeah, it's, it's the, you know, it's due to the optical design. Again, it's giving you about a 180 degree field of view. Um, so typically what happens with any type of wide angle lens, and it's more noticeable with fisheye lenses, is that whatever's closest to the lens is going to appear larger. So any, like your facial features are going to not be, is going to be kind of distorted, but that's the look of it's a like fisheye. It's like those uh, magical mirror rooms that exactly. you had in the, in the fairs, you know, when you walked into there and all of a sudden you had that really weird effect with that mirror. Yep. You can create that. What is the difference between uh, using an, a wide angle lens and a fish eye lens? Because it's the field of view. You mentioned mm -hmm. landscape photography. Right. Mm -hmm. So w if I am interested in taking pictures of landscapes and I have both lenses, what's the difference to me? Like when would I choose one over the other? Well, the wider perspective lens, like use an example, if we're talking for a crop sensor like this, very popular ones are the 10 to 24s mm -hmm. and the 10 to 18s. They're gonna give you a wider perspective, but not a 180 degree field of vision. So this is gonna allow you to capture even more without having to keep moving further away and further away from the subject matter, which is a lot of times when people jump into the, the wide angle and the fish eyes because the normal lens that comes with most of today's cameras just doesn't give you that extra wide perspective so you end up having to move further back and further back and then your subject matter keeps getting smaller and smaller and smaller and after a while you can't tell even if there are people involved who, who is in, in the photograph. I think what we also didn't discuss as um, is something that you can use a fisheye lens for 
I mean, you'd want to use like kind of like an as wide of a lens as you could, but like um, you know, astrophotography. Yes. You know, absolutely. capturing like the northern lights or something like that. Wow. Yeah. If you're out there in big sky country, this will yeah. be fantastic. Here we have Just to go out into you can the Everglades. Just a vast and amount of space. Yeah. So anything I would say, I would say, in my personal opinion, um, just anything that's that has a lot of space that you want to include in that shot, then because someone was asking food and makeup. That those kind of pictures, I would not use a fish I, Food, maybe. It, it maybe just food. it depends on the kind of dish, the way you want the, the way you want it to look. But like. I, I would, yeah, makeup, I would, I, yeah, makeup. You're gonna make the person look fishy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <It's kinda laughs> Unless you're doing like a Halloween makeup look or something <laughs> right. like that. Yeah, it it, de it depends exactly. Like mm -hmm. if you're doing something like uh, you know for an event or something like that, then I'd say use it. But you know. Standard portraits and stuff like that. I wouldn't go for uh, a, a yeah. fisheye. I'd go for a you know like a portrait lens or mm -hmm. you know. But you know anything else just to mess around with you know like have fun. You know the fisheye. Again, again it's a very great. fun in the lens. Case, I don't know if we've shown this uh, as much as it should be shown because I know that this is a great case. It's hard case, so it's, it's going to be fitted for the lens, right? It's yeah, fitted for the lens. Uh, so once you have it completely assembled. It sits very comfortably in here. It fits. It's made Snug. specifically for yep. the sun. Right? Yeah. So yeah, we like that idea. That's really cool because it doesn't take up a lot of room. It's a great lens. So on that note, I have this here in front of me. And this is our last winner of, is this nostalgic for you guys? Because I feel Rumble. like this has been going on yeah, for. Yeah, well, I mean, 24 weeks. I think, I think weeks? Next, <laughs> next, next Monday, I think I'm going to set up to record Izzy for the, yeah. but so then we're, Izzy's going to be like, no. We, we wait, we're not, not doing it anymore. We don't have any more winners. This oh. is our winner. That's why if We'll have to think of something else. I know we're going to think of something yes, else. Yes, stay tuned because yes. we love giving back to you guys. Don't this yep. is a great community, community that would not exist unless it was for our viewers. Yeah. and subscribers and people that just want to keep learning and just great ideas uh, make dreams I, come true. Please, because I want to be able to keep saying, you know what time of the you week it is? it is? I can't There's say that anymore. Gonna, we'll come up with something else. <laughs> please. <laughs> so do you guys want to announce this person together? Um, let's go ahead and say his name first and then we can say his channel's name. This person has a YouTube channel. Um, he subscribed. He has been around. But he just hadn't won till now because we've been choosing everyone randomly and we've had a lot of fun and you know we just were excited to see that he was uh, part of our community and and I know that this person like everyone else deserves this fish eye and I know they're gonna put it to really good use so drum roll yeah. drum roll three two, two that's your favorite three two, two, two one. one. Congratulations, Mike, Mike Hermes. 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 And his channel's name is Aim MH Tutorials. He does a lot of like three, three D modeling. Congratulations, and Mike! You're the newest winner and the final winner of the Altura Photo Eight Millimeter Fisher. I feel like we need to have like confetti. I know. Where are the balloons? Where's the fireworks? What's That's going on? Because we're an innovative Katie group, Perry. and we yeah. are supposed to imagine the I'm, confetti. I'm imagining. I'm hallucinating <laughs> you the need, confetti. You need to. <laughs> Guys, come There's on. one now. So, okay. Uh, but the important thing is, he has to contact us. We want to make sure we send it, whether you need it in a Nikon or a Canon mount, because we need to get it out to you and where to ship it to. Yes. Very important, and uh, yeah, That's I mean, it? I just wanted to say something quick about Mike. Uh, we noticed that part of the reason why we thought he would be the 24th person was because he seems to hold a lot of innovative, creative challenges, even on his own channel. So uh -huh. we'd like to kind of reward someone that is rewarding other people for thinking of new ideas and uh, I think that's part of this whole thing is, you know, just coming up with ways of rewarding people for that kind of thought process or behavior. So again, uh, shout out to like Mike. Hippie, so. <laughs> Peace, love, Peace, and love, and we'll see you guys next time. And everyone celebrating, congratulating Mike. Thank you for being here. Again, thank you for joining us. Happy shooting. We'll see you next time. Bye.